Hey everybody, on this episode of Pitchell's Garage, we're going to do a quick degrease. We're using Purple Power from AutoZone. Uh, pretty much just soak down. This is a quickie, so let's do that intro. <laughs> pretty much it's gonna give you just just get it all just soaked do not add water just just to get a degreaser that's all you want to do now I'm not gonna do on top of the engine bay I'm only doing the subframe right now I'm doing it up here right now just so when I actually take it all off I don't have a huge mess because this stuff is so greasy and old, I'd like to have some of it cleaned off before I go and do finish the final cleanup on it. But the more you use it just with no water, the better this stuff is. The moment you mix some water with it, it's like, it doesn't work as great, I've noticed. Uh, I'm not caring for this power steering rack, um, because we're not going to be using this rack anymore. We're going to manual steering on this car. Again, the reason why we're doing it is number one, less stuff to put back in. Number two, you feel the road more with manual power, manual steering versus power steering. And since this car isn't super heavy, you won't notice it as much with a manual rack. The moment the wheels start moving, you can turn the car with no issues. You're going to notice I'm going over some of the areas I've already sprayed and just because I just want to keep soaking it. This stuff is so cheap, I mean I overuse it and I'm okay with that. This side I can spray it on the rail because there's no open body parts or body panels here to inside the to the inside of the car, so it's okay if this one gets sprayed down and hums down with this stuff. It's just the other side I gotta worry about. So let it soak for a couple minutes. Come back to it and then grab your hose, your power hose or whatever you got. I don't have a power wash, believe me, I wish I did. This would make my life a hundred times easier. I might end up picking one up, who knows, to finish this off. See you guys in a couple right, minutes. So we're back. Got my hose ready. Just doing a quick one more time spray down. Just something really quick. I'll break loose, whatever. Been soaking for a minute.
Now, it's not going to be flawless, but it's a lot cleaner than what we had before. So when you pull your subframe out, you're not covered in freaking grease during the process of your subframe removal. It just makes you a little happier, you know, a little cleaner. That way you doesn't touch anything. It touch as much. And that's it. Let that sucker dry. And repeat the process one more time, but after you remove the subframe. That way it's going to look pretty, pretty clean, pretty good. And then you'll be back to work on doing the rest of the uh, engine bay. So, that was a pinchy out quickie. Enjoy that. Purple Power, $7 a freaking gallon. I bought an AutoZone little bottle here for another three bucks ten dollar purchase and cleans your engine bay pretty nicely just to get it cleaned now that's not a hundred percent clean yet not until we actually get in there and start grinding and cleaning so but this is for tomorrow so I can finish it off uh, so it can look really really good and we're gonna start so we can start actually shaving the engine bay because there's a lot to remove thanks for watching peace out everybody and as always break Fix and repeat.